Hey guys, I'm in with the original Beast drone. I haven't got to review this yet. This was sent back a little while back. Um, I do have the Beast Pro 2. Uh, you guys seen that video. I'll leave a link up on that. But I always wanted to see what the Beast uh, Drone 1 did. It doesn't have a memory card slot, so it'll be recording to my device. I'm just doing a quick unboxing to let you see that, you know, it comes with the charger, the manual, and some spare propellers. All right. Then you got the drone itself and the controller, which I put four AA batteries in there, sealed it back up. All right. Then you got the drone itself, which you can see I never even took the cover off the top yet. We'll do that. So let me go ahead and pull this off of here. All right, I did charge the battery in it. Take this film off. But well, we're gonna take it for a test flight, you guys. So I usually don't do an outdoor review like this, but it's a nice day. There's no smoke out here, so I'm so glad that the fires are being contained. Uh, this camera's pretty crazy. I haven't seen this before, but this actually could slide off. You can actually fly it without the camera if you want, but the Wi-Fi camera comes off. Uh, there's no SD card at all. I don't see no slot on here, so this is going to go straight to the phone. So just have to check it out. You know, I heard it's a good flyer, but uh, it's probably going to have a lot of shake in the film. This is... Um, you can adjust this from the the controller so we'll have to check that out but all right let me go get this thing fired up and we'll take it up for a flight guys stay tuned for that all right guys i'm going to put the battery in here i want to show you there's a little piece on the back here to stop the battery from going in when it's uh being sent out so that way the it's not touching in the connectors here so let me get that in there, put that piece in my pocket for now. I'm gonna get this thing fired up. So let me go ahead and turn on the controller. The controller's on, the drone. Let's try that, double press there. See if it comes on. Did it come on? I didn't hear no beep or nothing. Let me try that again. One, two, there we go, and there we go. Got to long press it for a minute. All right, so it did connect right away, which is good. So now I'm going to go ahead and go into the Wi Fi. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if I can find the Wi Fi. So many Wi Fi hotspots out here. That's what interferes all the time with flying in these areas. There it is. XL 4K, 5G. Let me get out of that. Let's go to the app, HFun Pro. And of course, it's gonna be upside down. Let me flip my phone around. Oh. All right, let's not do that again. Oh. Touch something back here, what did I touch? I think I touched, uh... there we go. <laughs> I touched uh, uh, one of the buttons there in the back. I just shut it off. All right, I'm gonna go and do a screen recording. Let's go ahead and uh, get this on so I can get that going so you guys can see that. All right, so I'm gonna go to start, confirm. All right. There we go. Should be uh, ready for me to do a calibration. I think I could do that right here in the app, if I remember right. Or you can actually hold the camera button right here. All right, that should start the calibration right now. Let's see if everything's flashing. Yep. Let me rotate it. One, two, three. It just beeped. I'm going to face the camera up on this one. Guys, it doesn't matter with this one if it's up or down. There we go. And there is a calibration. Nine satellites, and it says it's ready to go. So, all right, let me, uh, my phone might be getting dark, guys, just because it's getting hot, and my phone likes to shut down whenever the phone gets too hot. So, let me switch to HD. There we go, that was up in the top corner. Gonna start the recording. All right, there's a recording, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, 
calibrate the gyros this is the bottom let's see we have to do it in the app here let me go back in the app let me stop recording real quick uh, let's see I think it's in settings all right should be ready to go guys okay all right I'm gonna take off let's put it in higher speed here and then one key takeoff should be right here but I'm gonna go ahead and manually do it all right first time flying this guy it's got little buttons on the back here to adjust the camera so let me take a look at this guy it's pretty solid See if I could tilt that camera up and down. There it goes. All right. So that is working. The seize buttons up and down. Okay. Got headless mode. That's what I hit when I was first starting it off by accident. And your one key takeoff and one key land. So, all right. Let me get this guy up and see what it looks like here. Ooh. Boy, real sensitive on that, uh, on the forward there. All right. So we're gonna go up a little here. All right, I'm gonna stop right there. I don't wanna to go too far because I haven't flown this one before. So we're gonna do a little pan around like I like to do with all the drones. See if we can get a pan around. Uh, there we go. Well, it pans super fast, guys, even though how I'm trying to go as slow as I can right here. All right, there's a pan around here and we should be back to the first point I'm gonna shut off the film take a picture there all right says it took one let's go over here this angle here take a picture this way all right one over towards me but uh, it'll be over me towards the city let the film catch up here picture and one out towards the fields out here all right now picture boy that was a delay on picture Okay, let me start the film back up. I'm gonna go out a little ways and I'm actually gonna do a return to home. Yeah, look, the picture just took right now. I just went, made the sound. I'm already taken off again already. Okay, I'm gonna do a return to home. See how well that works, you guys. So, see if it returns to home. I pressed it on the app. Okay, here it comes. The phone doesn't, I mean, the controller doesn't beep to let you know. <coughs> Excuse me. Got some kids coming out to play, so I want to make sure I stay over this way. Okay, it's about r right over me now. Looks like we might be off a little bit, but... Let's see how long it takes to come down here. Still up there. So coming down. Height's still at 60. It's turning around for some reason. That turn was on its own. Now it's coming down, okay. I guess it wanted to turn around before it come down uh, for a landing, so. Can I tilt the camera down? Oh, that camera. I hate that beeping. Okay, I'm gonna have to swing over this way just a little. All right, here we go. Tilt that camera back up, that camera's slow. All right, so it was a little bit off. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it closer here. All right, so it was off a little bit. That's not too bad, it's not a bad flyer, guys. I'm not gonna go too crazy on the functions on this one. So, all right, so it is landing. Tilt the camera back up here. That all the way up? I think so. Okay. Let me go ahead and take off again and I'll see. Um, check out the other functions real quick. See if it has the follow me mode. I'm going to stop the film, start it again just in case. That way I have that saved in case something happens. Uh, see if I could see in here. This should be the full me here. Let's 
Is that follow me? Is that even working? No? Oh, it doesn't look like it. Let's see in here again. It's supposed to be following me. So let me try it again. Do I have to draw a circle or anything? No, I don't think so. It says that it's going. So is it gonna go? I'm walking now and I don't see I don't see anything happening guys. So it says the follow me function is on that I could stop. Okay, well follow me is not working. Let's see if the circle mode works or not. Get out here a little bit. All right, let's see if we can uh, emergency shutdown. Wow, that was crazy. I accidentally pressed that by accident. That showed up. Do you want an emergency shutdown? And I pressed it by accident. So don't press that, you guys. I'm glad I was just right here. I couldn't see on my screen because of... Uh, I couldn't see on my screen because uh, my screen's starting to go dark due to uh, due to my phone overheating. So let's take a look at this now. See if it'll let me get back in the app. That was strange. I wonder why that would come up. See if I can get back in the app. Looks like I'm disconnected again. So. Let me fire this thing back up. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back up. My phone's trying to shut down, so I'll make this quick. Got plenty of satellites. I'm gonna try to do a. I'm gonna try to do a circle me mode. That was strange how it came up. After I seen that, it was too late when I pressed it. My phone screen got a, was so dark I couldn't see it, and it said, "Would you like to emergency uh, stop?" And of course, like a dummy, I go and press it because I can't see it. I thought it was just telling me, would you like to stop the, the follow me mode? But that's not what it was. <laughs> so, all right, let's try this circle. Let's see what happens with this. See if I can get this going. Okay, it's going up. All right, where is it? Oh, it's, okay, where are you going? That's facing away from me. I'm gonna press record. That's weird. That is a strange deal. I press circle me, there it goes. It went away from me and then it decided to turn back around and then do a circle me. But it's doing pretty good. There it goes, it's going pretty slow. Let's see if I could tilt that camera down a little bit here. Yeah, come on camera the lag's so bad I can't tell if the, there it goes there we go now it's trying to circle me here we are okay man the lag is horrible on here right now I, I never was an H fun uh, app fan so but the drone seems pretty good it's a decent flyer so the circle me works really nice can I make it go out a little bit can I tilt it Looks like it just makes it stop when I do that. Oh, that's good. Is it going to go around? Yeah, it is. Let me go out a little bit more and see if it starts circling around still. Okay, I'm going out a little further. And yeah, it's going to circle around again. All right. Real slowly, but it's trying to. All right, guys, I'm going to bring that down now. Let's cancel out of that. Okay. All right, guys. Well, not too bad. I'm gonna fly it around a little bit. A little sport flying here. Seems to be doing pretty nice. It's a nice flyer. Just watch out for that emergency stop uh, function that comes up on your screen. <laughs> yeah, that was strange. I've never seen that come up on a drone before on an app. I don't know why it would it would suggest that there was nothing wrong all right guys there you go there's the original beast right there not a bad little flyer they got the other ones the pro and the pro 2 so i do have the pro with the two axis gimbal 
I'm hoping to get the Pro uh, 2 soon. That way you guys could see the three axle gimbal, uh, what they've done with this one as well. But the original is not bad at all, you guys. So, you know, there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and land it. I'll leave a link down in the descriptions uh, to this here. That way you could see uh, a little more information on this drone, you guys. So if it's something you like, then you can click on that and purchase it there. All right, let me bring this guy down. Boy, that sure kicks up a lot of air. It was moving me all over the place. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. The original Beast. Always want to do a review on this and finally got a chance. So it's not bad, you guys. All right, the SG906 quadcopter. Thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate it. God bless. Cheers and happy flying.